Also included in tonight's mission is Israel's first lunar lander for Space IL and Israel Aerospace Industries. This lander will be the world's first privately funded spacecraft to reach the moon. Its mission is to transmit photos and video of its new home and conduct tests of the environment. An interesting fact about this lander is that it will be using its own power to travel to the moon, which will take nearly two months. Now let's check in with Kate for our final status update before liftoff. Go for launch. Stage one pressing for flight. Few minutes, 15 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Ignition. MVAC engine chill. There you heard the call out for MVAC engine chill. This is the point in which, like I mentioned before, we start to flow the super cold liquid oxygen into the turbo pumps, bringing them down to flight temperatures. This helps us reduce the temperature difference between the liquid oxygen and the hardware. Everything looking good with stage one trajectory. Main engine cut up, cut off. <coughs> Miko one, approaching now. And there on your screen, you can see that the second engine, second stage engine has lit the gorgeous red orange glow of that nozzle. We're now at T plus three and a three minutes and five seconds into flight. Coming up next will be fairing deployment. Now that second stage is in the vacuum of space, uh, we don't need the fairing anymore. So in order to improve our vehicle efficiency, we shed the extra weight. Let's check in on the status of the Falcon 9 booster. Bearing separation confirmed. And there you can see on the screen deployment of bearing.
Bermuda acquisition of Signal. While Stage 2 is doing its job, Stage 1 will be coming back home to Earth, and it will also execute two burns, the first of which is the entry burn. First stage is traveling at roughly 2,300 meters per second, and this three-engine burn helps to slow the stage down. The second of the Stage 1 burns is called the landing burn. This is a single-engine burn that brings the vehicle speed down rapidly from about 250 meters per second all the way down to two meters per second in order to gently land on the drone ship. As I mentioned earlier, for this mission, first stage re-entry conditions are predicted to be the most challenging for any recovery attempt to date. It is possible that we might lose our camera feed during the landing attempt due to the drone ship's position over the horizon, but if that happens, we will bring you an update as soon as we re-establish connection. Stage one landing should occur about 25 seconds following second stage engine cutoff. The entry burn will be coming up here in about two minutes. It is T plus five minutes and 27 seconds, and we're just under a minute until the entry burn begins. Stage two on nominal trajectory. So on your left screen, you can see the first stage coming down, and you'll see a bright a bright light when the entry burn begins there. We're just about 25 seconds away from entry burn. And you can also see on your right screen the second stage. Stage one FTS is safe. Stage one entry startup. And their entry burn has begun. This should last about 18 seconds. Stage one entry burn shut down. And entry burn is complete for first stage. Next, coming up at about T plus eight minutes will be a rapid series of events. This will include the first second stage engine cutoff, or SECA-1, the start of the landing burn, followed by the first stage landing. SECA-1 and the landing burn will occur within four seconds of each other, followed by the stage one landing shortly after that. And we are at T plus seven minutes and 22 seconds. So we're just under a minute to seek a one. Terminal guidance. Stage one entry transonic. And that second stage engine is glowing bright there. When SECO-1 starts, that engine will turn off. Stage two FTS is saved. Stage one landing startup. We have SECO-1. Stage one landing with the pool. Uh, okay. It sounds like, there you go on your screen, we do have a successful first stage landing, despite the challenging conditions there. And we also got confirmation of stage two in good orbit. <laughs>
Now we are about to enter the post phase, so we are going to take a quick break, but we will be leaving you with an animation that shows you where we are in the post phase. We will be back at about T plus 26 minutes for a second stage relight and the